I like that. Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. I'm Bradford. Today, we are going to do a rather quick look at the Tone Master Pro. The goal in this video, honestly, is just to create a patch in the way that we would do it anyways and just see how it holds up. I have not read any manuals. I have really not watched any videos, period. So what you're getting is basically a how intuitive is this kind of thing and how does it sound? Here's what we're gonna do. We're absolutely gonna do an AC30. Okay. Double tap to do that. So the controls show up here, that's cool. Good bit of cut, Not, and I'm sorry, not a lot of cut to begin with, but we're gonna kind of... A lot of gain. Okay. I don't mind that. I do have an overall amp level. Let's just turn that up. I like that. A little more bass than I want. So I'm gonna assume we need to run effects post. For now, let's start with verb. The thing I really wanna know is what does massive stuff sound like? Okay, cloud, celestial, nebula, that kind of sounds like big verbs. Let's just, that's stereo. The K's a little long. I have the diffusion, it's already set this way, but if we turn it all the way down, it was set all the way up, it's turned down. Okay, so it's not giving me, normally you hear like individual, like pretty percussive kind of repeats when you do that. So that's not doing that. Uh, let me adjust modulation again, page over. Rate and depth, the depth is really low. I'm gonna turn rate down even more. Okay. Well, let's add a delay now and see what happens. We're almost there, honestly. We got reverse delay, we got tape echo, a, something they're calling a studio delay, an analog delay. I'm gonna go stereo tape. Tape is my preference. Dragging and dropping is pretty easy. That's nice. The interface so far is very, very good. I'm very much into that. I like how, how the touch screen works. It's probably one of the better ones I've tried. Triplet, eighth, I want, dot of eighth, hello. There it is. Oh, so it automatically bounces. I wonder if we can fix that. Um, the tap divide left, tap divide right. Now let's see if I return it to the same thing, what happens here. It... Okay, so we get the same thing on both sides. Tape bias is cranked, which probably makes it hotter too. Oh, okay, so you wanna probably turn it up more to... Okay. So that also has to do with feedback, it appears. I am not, I'm not super into this one as much as I am other stuff. Let's see how we can, let's replace it. I'm gonna use stereo memory delay. All right, well, that's super dark too. All right. Well, if I adjust. I want grid up. I, what does gain do? Yeah, adding gain like the pedal itself is boosting the level of your signal. So, so far, let's listen to what we got. Okay. Uh, that is cool. And we haven't even added drive or a compressor. Um, I'm a big fan of that. That's my preference is to always have a compressor. I like how it can take an amp that I don't have running too hot. And, um, you know, it just gives me some sustain. So I'm gonna run with studio compressor. There's a simple compressor, but I'm gonna run with studio. I run my ratio on my compressor more like one-to-one, -one, 
I prefer it more for sustain. So... All right, so, so far, I'm liking what I'm hearing. This is pretty cool. What really is going to be a telling sign is how it takes drive. Um, I saw a couple people mention they weren't really a fan of how drives driven sound sounded in other videos. We'll see here. Okay, so what are they calling this? It's calling this the Royal Tone. King of Tone. This is default settings. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking that. Now we're gonna do we'll do a demo of everything here in a second. But for right now, what I want to hear or see is can I add multiple reverbs? Again, just a reminder, I haven't read the manual. Um, I haven't really watched any content on this yet. Why can't I move this? Okay, there we go. Um, and I just want to know what I can do intuitively. I like that as is just that that's that's kind of my thing like can I that's how I go about it like can can that little rake give me some answers these are the settings it pulled up on so you do have a mod option I would prefer none Low EQ, high EQ, spillover off. Well, we're going to fix that. Spillover on. I am so far pretty pleased with what I'm hearing. Let's see what else we can cram in there. I'm going to put another drive in. Something that, so Mythic, Nashville. Okay, now, now you got me. ODR1 is what the green side of the protein is based off of. Protein's my favorite. So they've they've tweaked it, but... So, so far I've already caught on to how to utilize uh, the buttons when messing with stuff. I'm gonna assign foot switches now. It looks like you can in fact assign multiple things to uh, to a foot switch and you can adjust parameters too. So you can change color. So for color, I wanna do green. Um, when it's inactive, I also wanna do green. What's that do? Okay, so that's not as intuitive. Um, on the Helix, it's a lighter color. That would be nice if you could see, if you could do that. Um, but I guess if you want to use it to swap between stuff, so you can make stuff momentary. Let's do this. I'm going to drag and drop. Swap. Okay. I'm liking the interface. The interface is really, really nice. Um, I'm probably going to put like modulation here. I'll put my verbs here. That's what I typically do when we do in any of our WT patches. I'm gonna control that and I want it there. Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna make that, uh, make that cyan, that sounds good. Currently I have my drives and my verbs assigned. Let's do a stereo chorus. 
and my preference would be after the amp but before reverbs for stereo i mean right off the bat that sounds pretty great um i prefer not to have my chorus set to tap can i change okay i can change with Can change width, but I can't change shape. Now, had mix kind of not at a hundred, this is turning to Verado. Okay, so I don't know if I can fit anything else. Let's let's see what's going on here. Effects, can I put um, modulation? There is other courses. Everything is lit up still, so that's cool. Um, I wasn't able to add stuff to bias. Let's just go regular tremolo. Wasn't able to add stuff in uh, any more amps. So I'm putting this in. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> It right after the amp i'm a big fan of that it really that when the when you run trim into an amp it doesn't it's not always as um as heavy duty and i want to be able to feel it so let's see what happens here Let's try one more thing. I see a plus over here. Uh, ideally, another delay would be nice. Can We can do it. Okay. Echo filter, auto swell, digital delay, mono, ping pong, reverse, space delay. So let's do this. Um, let's add a reverse because I love a reverse delay. I'll put this first because that's what I would do anyways. I would personally want reverse going into... Um, like a regular delay, kind of like carry on the reverse. Let's try to adjust parameters. What does that look like? I want to adjust parameters on the delay. Confirm. Okay, so tap divide left. I want to adjust it to quarter at some point. Select inactivated value. Okay, so you got to do both. Okay, so this is off. Let's turn it on. Let's get out of here. And I have this button set. <laughs> So let's listen to this. Here it is, as is. So that's quarter and dotted eighth when I hit this. So that's nice. The one thing you have to consider is it's going to warp if you step on it. It's kind of the nature of it. Um, you're asking it to turn. It's like you're actually bending down to turn a knob. That's what's going to happen. So you'd either have to add a second delay, which we can see if we can do. I just wanted to test this. I kind of like random stuff like that, but I understand if you don't. All right, one more thing. Let's add if we add, let's see if we can add one more delay. We can. I even have the option to do stereo stuff. Let's see what the studio delay is. Maybe I'll treat this more like my 
dual delay and we can yep that's cool so I set that to eighth I don't know what pan mode is. Oh, okay. So you can kind of choose how you want it to. So that's kind of cool. Let's do rate and turn up the depth huh so it's kind of like trim can i what if i turn this down but the depth's all the way up what does that do okay okay that's a very cool thing that's not even what this whole video is about this seems like a thing that i've never messed with a delay that does this you can have it pan around at whatever rate you want that's pretty cool um, there's modulation on there and, of course, spillover. Okay, we got a lot in here. I'm impressed. So is this thing something you should consider? Uh, I would say yes. Um, who is this for? Um, somebody who really likes touchscreen layout? I really like this in that regard. It's one of the, the most intuitive. It's one of the most responsive. There's no lag. Um, you know, Quad Cortex, their screen was one of the first, really, I think, that worked well. And it's so great. I just, this one's a little more like an iPhone, which I would not be surprised if that's part of where your money's going, honestly, because that's, that's not a cheap thing to do. But with a company like Fender, they have, they have the funds. They're a big company, so they can put that behind there and they have the reach. So I'm very impressed with this. Um, again, this is first impressions. You know, the one thing that I just would like to see a little bit more choices in things, you know, with effects, but that's actually, it's a couple things. Really not a big deal, A, and B, that's a firmware thing that could be adjusted down the road. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, another great contender. It's really interesting to have an amp company actually make something like this. And they are saying, they're accepting where the world is going. Um, I, I honestly have been falling more in love with amps again because of using all these modelers. And that's really interesting to some people. But to me, it kind of makes sense. I'm listening to all the nuances. And I'm like, man, there are differences between that. But I'll have more on this on my side of things. Brian will dive into some things too. Way more in-depth stuff coming. But initial thoughts and sounds, this is great. So thanks for checking this out. We'll see you soon.